Have you ever wondered why planes don't fly from America west to Australia? It seems logical, right? After all, if you look at a flat map, Australia appears to be directly west of America, but in reality, flights from America to Australia rarely take this seemingly straightforward route. Instead, they fly a path that takes them almost due north or south over the Pacific Ocean. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind this curious phenomenon. Many of you may think that the fastest way from one point on the Earth to another is a straight line. However, when it comes to air travel, things are a little more complicated. The Earth as we know, is not flat. It's an oblate spheroid, meaning it's shaped like a sphere but slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. This shape affects the way we perceive distances on a map. The flight path that airplanes follow is called a great circle. A great circle is the shortest distance between two points on a sphere and it's always a segment of a circle that cuts the sphere into two equal halves. If you were to stretch a string between two points on a globe, the string would naturally fall into a great circle path. When a plane flies from America to Australia it follows a great circle that takes it over the Pacific Ocean. This is the shortest and therefore the quickest route. If a plane were to fly due west from America to Australia it would actually have to cover a much longer distance, which would require more fuel and take more time. But distance isn't the only factor that determines a plane's flight path. Wind patterns also play a significant role. The jet streams, which are fast-flowing, narrow air currents found in the atmosphere, can greatly affect a plane's speed and fuel efficiency. By flying with the jet stream, planes can save fuel and time. These jet streams flow from west to east, which is another reason why planes often fly eastwards from America to Australia. To summarize, Planes don't fly from America West to Australia because it's not the most efficient route. The Earth's shape, the concept of the Great Circle, and wind patterns all factor into the flight path that a plane takes. So, the next time you're on a flight, remember that the route you're flying is not just a random choice by the pilot, but a carefully calculated path that ensures the quickest, most fuel-efficient journey. Understanding these principles not only gives us insight into the world of aviation, but also deepens our appreciation of the fascinating planet we inhabit. So, the next time you look at a flight map, you'll know there's more to those curved lines than meets